Is there a rise, in your opinion, of Islamophobia in the UK? And if so, why do you think this might be? How can we tighten legislation to prevent Islamophobia? Islamophobia is absolutely a problem. It's a challenge for our country. But before I go into details, uh, I think I'd like to say that Britain is one of the most tolerant countries in the world. And may long it continue, but mm. we need to focus on the challenging aspects, racism, bigotry, and hatred. A recent survey shows that 44% of the people surveyed thought that Islam was incompatible with Western civilization because they thought that Sharia law was replacing British law. So what it really tells us that there's a lot of misinformation, there's misconception, there's ignorance, there's lack of religious literacy about Islam, which is creating this sense of fear, this phobia, Islamophobia. You know, people think that somehow Muslims are going to overtake Britain. You know, there's only less than 5% of the population. You know, literally, with even statistics, you can't really do anything like that. But this, 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 this really fear has been created. It's been created by parts, you know, sections of the media. It's been created by populist leaders, some even mainstream political leaders. And, uh, and, and as a result, it's not a sign of a healthy society to have any community, religious or ethnic minority, feeling under threat. Some people might say, well, there's a genuine concern because there are some people you know, known as Islamist extremists who are going around blowing people. After the London Bridge attack, you know, I brought imams from across the country, you know, over 120 imams came and said that they will not offer the funeral prayer of Islamist extremists. And that was quite, you know, that, that, that wasn't taken lightly because religion is all about compassion. And this is the last prayer that's offered to someone who, who left this world. But because you know, imams and religious leaders and the Muslims feel so passionate about this issue, about saving our world and protecting our communities, that we said that those who are extremists and they commit, they commit terror and violence in our society, they are not welcome in Muslim community, either in life or in death. I can assure you, it's not because of Islam. It's not because of the, you know, the, the over, over 3 million Muslims who want to blow themselves up, who want to see this carnage, who wants to see the, this, this um, violence in our society. It's rather those extreme fringe minority. You know, there are in every, every community, every society. Now we're talking about on the other side, there's a far extreme, far-right extremism emerging as well. So what we all need to do is actually in, in this debate about us and them, all of us are on this side of us working against them, the extremists, whether it be the Islamist extremists, whether it be the far-right extremists or far-left extremists, whoever they may be.